He is known for being a German early Baroque composer and organist, credited with bringing the Italian style to Germany. He is recognized for being one of the most important composers of the 17th century and for his prolific output of over 500 surviving works. His name is Heinrich Schütz. In the world of music, one name stands out as a true legend, Heinrich Schütz. Born in Germany during the Baroque period, Schütz is considered one of the most important composers of the 17th century and a pioneer in bringing the Italian style to his homeland. His impact on music is immeasurable, with his works laying the foundation for future composers like Johann Sebastian Bach. Schütz's musical journey began in the Lutheran Church, where he composed most of his surviving music. One of his notable achievements was writing what is considered the first German opera, Daphne, which was performed in 1627. Unfortunately, the music for this groundbreaking opera has been lost over time, along with many of his ceremonial and theatrical scores. However, his immense talent and prolific nature are evident in the over 500 surviving works attributed to him. Schütz's compositions were not only groundbreaking but also deeply significant in the field of music. He played a vital role in the evolution of the Italian style into the early Baroque era, influencing generations of composers who followed him. His works showcased his mastery of harmonies, melodies, and intricate musical structures, leaving a lasting impact on the musical landscape of his time and beyond. Today, he is remembered and celebrated as a musician in the calendar of saints, alongside the likes of Johann Sebastian Bach and George Friedrich Handel in some North American Lutheran churches. Heinrich Schütz's legacy as a composer and organist remains unparalleled. His contributions to music continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. From his early exploration of the Italian style to his extensive body of work, Schütz's influence on the Baroque period and beyond cannot be overstated. He truly deserves his place among the greats of music history, forever remembered for his profound impact on the field of music. In Kostritz, a small town in Germany, a young boy named Heinrich Schütz was born to Christoph Schütz and Euphrosyne Beecher. Growing up, Heinrich's father managed an inn called Zoom Golden and Ring. However, the family later moved to Weissenfels, where his father became the burgomaster and purchased another inn called Zoom Schutzen. It was during this time in Weissenfels that Heinrich's musical talents were discovered. In 1598, while Heinrich was living with his parents, Landgrave Moritz von Hessen Castle stayed overnight at Christoph Schütz's inn. Upon hearing young Heinrich's beautiful singing voice, the Landgrave was captivated. He saw great potential in the boy and requested that his parents allow him to be sent to his noble court for further education and instruction. At first, Heinrich's parents were hesitant to accept the Landgrave's offer. However, after much correspondence and consideration, they decided to let Heinrich go to the Landgrave's seat at Castle in August 1599. It was there that Heinrich began his remarkable journey in music. Initially, Heinrich served as a choir boy. But his passion for music led him to pursue further studies. He went on to study law at Marburg before embarking on a transformative trip to Venice from 1609 to 1612. It was in Venice that he studied under the renowned composer Giovanni Gabrielli, whom Heinrich considered his only true teacher. In fact, before Gabrielli's passing, he even bestowed upon Heinrich a precious ring as a token of their bond. After his time in Venice, Heinrich returned to Germany and became the organist at Kassel from 1613 to 1615. This was just the beginning of his illustrious career, as he would go on to become one of the most influential composers of his time, leaving behind a rich musical legacy. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.